Good morning guys and welcome to the train. Yeah, I'm train station. It's beautiful, isn't it? So, why am I here? I'm here because I'm waiting for the train. And why am I waiting for the train? Well, because I haven't checked what time it's gonna arrive exactly and whether it's late or not. Besides, this is beyond the point because uh, we have this beautiful port there and it tells me everything about the trains and as I speak to this camera and making a full out of myself Google is populate Google now uh, card with all the delay schedules for the trains now I wish that could be available when I'm setting off instead and I'm gonna show you how to do it using Tasker so well this is the part when I pretend I'm gonna turn around and do something on the computer and continue there however I need to get home first so see you in a bit so let me showcase this for you. This is Google now, and this is where you're gonna find your Google cards. So if we're going to select a new train station, it will update the location of that train station and it will populate the Google and now with a card responsible for schedules and delays. So I'm just refre refreshing my Google now and you can see I've got Yam train station and all current uh, delays and departures. Uh, this profile, it's uh, available for 3 minutes, I've set it to 3 minutes and then it will switch back to the current location. So this is how you do it. Because we're going to pretend that we are in a location that we are really aren't, we need to enable the mock locations in the dev options. So enable uh, developers options and then just go and uh, select auto location as your mock uh, location application. As you can see, I am struggling to find it in this video, even though I've tried it a few times. But it is there, and uh, after a bit of a looking, I managed to get to the right settings and select Auto Location. The Tasker profile contains a manual setup and I do Auto Voice setup. So let's have a look at a manual setup. Um, I'm creating a dialog, which you've seen previously, and will display all the locations with save coordinates for each train station. So I've looked it up online uh, via Google, so you should be able to look it up as well and then just fill in the dialogue with uh, your train station li uh, listings. This is best way to set up your commute. So you can uh, predefine the names, uh, separate them by commas and then go to commands. And in the commands you, you will need to pass the coordinates. Each coordinate is separated by a comma and then the latitude and longitude separated by a colon. Then all you have to do is just uh, select uh, close on select and then we can pass these values uh, to our second action. When the dialog option is selected, we're going to need two local variables, one for the name of the um, train station, the second one for the coordinates. The name of the train station is stored in 80 text and the coordinates in 80 command. Because I've stored the coordinates separated by colon, we need to split that variable into two, into a longitude and latitude, and then pass it over to the auto location mock location coordinate system. Their respective local variables will be submitted to the latitude and the longitude options. So do the same and uh, you pretty much got your profile ready. I will also set up a permanent notification that will um, announce that uh, we are spoofing the location and for which train station and the location is spoofed. The last option is to set the timer, so use uh, times plus whatever seconds you want that spoof location to last. To reverse the spoofed location, all we have to do is just to stop uh, the mock location service and then clear the variable that contain our timeout. That's pretty much it. Now, if you want to use Auto Voice and look up for any train station, uh, you can use uh, Auto Voice Recognize command and do it the hard way. Select Command Filter to be your command. So, for example, show me the train stations at, and uh, I'm using Regex to populate the next um, part of this command. This way, whenever we're going to say our command, it will be available as a V command no filter. Uh, that's gonna be just uh, your uh, train station uh, lookup. So what we have to do is just take this uh, local variable and just use it in uh, auto location information. Bear in mind that the uh, um, arrays in here are spelled incorrectly. I've reported it already, but make sure you spell it as it is on that screen. So all you have to do is just to put the search query and your auto voice command, and I'm gonna limit my result to just a one. Um, result. As we requesting the coordinates from the auto location info, all we have to do is just submit the um, the results from the first position in the array 
to the latitude and longitude. You can set up accuracy to 10 meters, that's sufficient. And then just create a uh, same notification as previously. We don't have to split uh, coordinates anymore because the auto location information provides the coordinates in a correct format. And the last action is just to set the timeout. I've choose again three minutes and after that it will reverse back to original form. All right, video check. Helmet head check. Action concourse. And the glasses check. Stand well, clear, doors opening. As usual guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, the complete written tutorial is available in the uh, description or in the links on the screen. And again, well, you're gonna see me soon. Take care, bye.